So at the outset, uh, let me uh, congratulate uh, the full team of the Million Book Project. 20 years, the vision and the outcomes have been phenomenal. And it is not just the million books that have come up. It is the million thoughts that have come up. And among these million thoughts has been the National Digital Library of India. So I would like to congratulate Professor Raj Redri, Professor Balki, Ajay Sani, and the whole team at uh, IIIT, uh, PJN, and everybody else for this wonderful activity. The National Digital Library of India, the thought process came up after many years. As we all know that this million book project was started in 2001 and Professor Balki started the DLI project in 2004. In 2015, when we envisaged that there were the whole concept of digital reading, digital knowledge, and fractured libraries across the country and the globe made access very difficult to people, including a lot of material prepared in India. And we had given the proposal that we will develop a single window, one digital library for all of India to access every material from education point of view. So the job was to integrate libraries, to get content from libraries. The objective here was really not to own the material or store all the material in the servers of the National Digital Library to circumvent the problem of copyright and everybody's ownership, we decided that we will become the integrator. And as much as free material is possible, we will provide. In addition, we requested the government of India to take national licenses of certain very, very key resources which are either in digital form or have been provided in digital form and enable it to be provided to the people of India. And eventually it has started being provided to the people of the world as well. With this aim, I still remember drawing these three circles. All of this was not filled up, but at least the National Digital Library of India online education, credit transfer, all these were written in that proposal of prepared in late 2014, early 2015. And with the onset of digital education, I'm very happy to see so much of it being filled up with the National Digital Library becoming the backbone of content, which is now having almost all content of education produced in India. And the rest of it from the world, wherever it is available free or where we have got agreements. With this, today the National Digital Library has got both a web access and a mobile access. It is the 24 by seven umbrella library. We do not have all the contents but we have integrated all the metadata, covers all academic levels, all academic disciplines. And other than books, it contains videos, audiobooks, image, simulation, code, data sets, et cetera. We now have prepared user interfaces in 10 Indian languages, though there are books of about 400 languages in the National Digital Library. It has got registered as well as free users. Registered users are helpful for us to give, provide some additional access. Our initial concept was that every institution, who teachers and others who are preparing their materials or have their old materials, as Sri Ajisani just pointed out, born digital content, 
you know what we did was we try we requested institutions to record all their laboratory experiments so this was done in many institutions where they recorded video recorded and fast forwarded their laboratory experiments and put it up so that students before going for the lab could see how to do those experiments one of the biggest solutions in india is about being able to perform in exams question banks model answers manuals case studies all of this were very important we also started having data sets manuscripts and slowly slowly we moved into news maps atlas software and many other things with the help of professor balki who was in the core committee of developing the national digital library in the prsg as we call it the review committee as well as several others we put in all the experts from india and a few international experts to prepare a metadata format and this metadata format is the heart of ndl it contains knowledge and data about all the content that we have the other thing that over a period of time we realized that digital libraries require are verticals and collections verticals especially because people who want to look at it at various angles the school children want to you know are not interested in looking at the library in general they are interested in certain focused activities so in addition to general activities general search general browse general access we provided several verticals so today it is open to all of our 75 million content 53 million indexed content can be accessed free there are other accesses which are nationally licensed content and up to 2019 before the pandemic set in we also had the world ebook library available to us free all its content available to us free because it was nationally subscribed we have interfaces in 10 indian languages as of now so as of now we have about 20000 participating organization institutions we have 6.2 million registered users 3.3 million of them are active but there are a large number of unregistered users the real effect of building up this library was found in the pandemic during the pandemic it served as a lifeline of education not only people started accessing all the material because people were at various places without books the teachers and faculty members also started contributing to whatever they were developing during this period so we ended up with about 200000 average daily hits of documents which means much more page views so today it is the single largest window of study learning resources in india there are various services like study at home examination preparatory service covid-19 research resources featured resources the other thing is the architecture the architecture is such that we have three levels of backup with disaster recovery and therefore till now it is 99.99% 24 by 7 even during cyclones super cyclones outages we have been more or less today other than our two level backup we have now used the badal club research on this topic has continued and we now have a lot of publications on this topic as well so we have got collaborators we have got about 350 active collaborators there are academic institutions national repositories i'm so happy one letter to 17 states provided us they provided us immediately with all their school books books from andhra pradesh to telangana to tripura to everybody edupreneurs have started providing their content 
all the Ministry of Education initiatives, the Digital Library of India. And as you just said, today, several private collectors are now wanting to work with us to try and have the contents indexed and made available in the National Digital Library. This is the breakup of the contents. We have about 6.8 million books and several other such topics. But it's very interesting that the video lectures, the question answers, the question papers, newspaper collections are, are one of the most widely accessed material. Then we have content of various categories. So just to give you, we have content in about 400 languages. But Maximum is in English, and that is where we need to really gear up for the Indian languages. There is a lot of interesting content on culture and heritage. The DLI itself is the most valuable content, as Ajay Sahani said. For that period of time when the DLI was down, the amount of requests that we had to put the Digital Library of India out of that MVP project on board you cannot just imagine, you know, therefore the value of the Digital Library of India is just enormous. We have started now, there was a discussion on newspaper collections. So we have started talking to various newspaper agencies to provide their collections, because that is going to be a very, very important archive. We have now provided several rare documents and manuscripts started collaborating with several agencies in addition to the uh, Digital Library of India. There have been people who have provided us the full text of Rabindranath Tagore, Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay, and everything free to us, just providing free access. There is a lot of pleasure reading. Among the unique concepts other than the Digital Library of India, which is a very unique concept, let me give you one more. Satyajit Ray, who is our Oscar winning film director, he had of his 39 films, each of his films had his handwritten document manuscript, which was called his Kherur Khata. Each of them is about 800 to 1000 pages with his, uh, you know, scene descriptions, uh, exact screenplay, exact. And he, that has been, you know, the video, the uh, scanned versions of that has been made available uh, through the National Digital Library of India. So during COVID times, we opened up a complete new vertical on COVID research repositories. And now we have tried to take this into a mission mode of clubs. So how do we have national digital library clubs in schools, colleges, and various other places? And we are working with various agencies to enable these clubs. As of now, we have more than 2,000 clubs. Uh, working with us. So these clubs are, uh, you know, integrating, there are reading Olympiads, tutorials, hackathons, thematic area discussions, and we have got a lot of people collaborating to participate in these clubs. There have been a lot of very interna good international collaborations, the right statement, the Wikimedia Media Foundation, SEMCA, British Library, Europeana, uh, South Asia Open Archive and several others. Research has been taken up in, you know, a lot of activities on, on NLP. We want to introduce the compute function so that the data sets can come. We started a small sample of a medical data bank to just see how it works. We are now trying to develop AI enablement of annotating all these things on the fly and then translation. Translation on the fly or translation and conversion is going to be one of the most important requirements. And then, as somebody just pointed out in the previous lectures in the last few days, is that how do we convert text to, uh, you know, pictures? How do we convert pictures to text and so on and so forth? Uh, provide a huge opportunities for us. There's a huge discussion on copyright. We have recently released through the uh, working with the judiciary and the other people with experts, a simple copyright guide for Indian libraries. And we are now working and we need to work together 
to make amendments in the Copyright Act and digital copyrights. And we are very keen to participate in this discussion. We are lucky and um, privileged to have received certain awards and testimonials. The Digital Library of India is a star in NDLI. Today we have got, this is just two pictures. You know, if you really search and I was just searching again, you know, I just do it as an exercise. So we have got about 533,556 content uh, with Professor Balki and his team and the tremendous effort that they gave to create the metadata, to provide the access of the books. Initially, all were pictures, they were converted to PDF, and then the metadata was created. You know, I remember Philbert working with our team and everybody else. And if you, the way we have structured it, you know, if you really, in, in the right picture, it just tells us that if I look at the national digital in the digital library of India, and I search for German books written by Max Muller, I will get these three books. If I want to look at how many languages are there, there are 26,000 books in Bangla, there are 42,000 books in Gujarati and so on and so forth. So I think, you know, there is much more that we can do uh, with, with this uh, uh, integration. So we really want to uh, propose a collaboration with the Million Book Project and Professor Balki and Professor Rajreddy and others, because we really want to work on this concept of collaborate, create, and communicate. These are the three steps we think we want to take forward, and we'll be happy to participate in that. Possible areas, identification and sourcing of rare books. We have tried to work with the manuscript mission and others. And, and there are a lot of difficulties we are, we are very happy to work. And we are really keen on working on fun fables in Indian traditions, documentaries, and so on and so forth. We have proposed, you know, how to obtain scanners and other things people are willing to contribute. And the most important thing I request is translation, Indian language audio versions, and comment, amendments to copyright acts. With this, I will complete my presentation. And I would like to again congratulate uh, the Million Book Project and the Digital Library of India. And we look forward to working closely with you all in going forward. Thank you very much. <laughs>